Okay, we've got the 44, uh, 44-8. We uh, red belted gill. We got fired up on a 44 uh, uh, male that was just picture perfect yep. in his profile. Remember that hog got a back slap. This is Brett Taker on back slaps, litter make backdrop, best kept secret. Yeah, another neat with different color pattern. That's that's all fine. I got some people that uh, actually prefer those red belts. In a lot of cases, their kids like them a lot, and they're very popular these days. And this one has all the properties, uh, regardless of color, to be right. You know, that one there's built good. This taller shoulder, she is her hip length in front of her blade. That uh, looks very feminine. Uh, looks like she could be a very good breeding type of, of prospect. But still, there's enough stuff there that uh, as you bulk and mass her because she's correct and she can take it. Uh, you can dual purpose it without any problem, I don't think, uh, whatsoever. Just a very good set of feet and legs, right length of body, good elevation, good look. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, I'll just throw the bone in for the kicker of it. I mean, it, it just, you, you're so good patterned here, guys. I mean, again, just being elevated through the front end and still have a chest floor. And I love it when they can just crank that tail way up high and, and not kind of hinder a rear leg movement. So this one, just put them on a feed. I mean, uh, put them on a feed bucket, throw a little 685, a little scud with it. And, and I guess to me, it, it, this one just gets better with every day. And ultimately, uh, we don't need them to look like total rock stars today. We need them total rock stars come August. 44-8, Breathtaker Gill.